Berg Bear, and I'm 12 years old. <laughs> I came here today to talk about the power of ideas worth spreading. The talk you just watched me perform was just 442 days ago, right here in Asheville, at the TEDx Next Generation Asheville event held at the Orange Peel. That day, I was excited, nervous, and inspired. Little did I know what type of profound effect my words on that stage would have when I talked about my passion for what's wrong with our food system. About a month later, my talk was posted on the internet. Little did I know that it would be shared and viewed by many different people. I watched in amazement as the number of views started to rise. I was even more amazed when Ashley Cooper, the director of TEDx Next Generation Asheville, told me that TED was interested in putting my talk on TED.com. My mom started receiving requests for me to be speaking at different events and groups. <laughs> I started a website and a Facebook page, too, to share with other people what I was continuing to learn about food and farming. I'm pretty sure that my talk that you just watched has around 400,000 views, and it may still be the most viewed TEDx talk today. TED.com's posting of my presentation has around 500,000 views. It has been a humbling experience. <laughs> when the organizers of TEDx Asheville asked me to tell my story and what has happened since my talk, I wasn't sure. Early on after my talk went viral, many different people and groups were contacting me. And one thing that I wasn't interested in was acting or talking about myself. The main thing was that I really just wanted to keep spreading my message about food and farming. So when I was contacted by the Nevada County Grown Sustainable Food and Farm Conference to speak there at the end of January of this year, I said yes. I was fortunate enough to speak alongside other food activists and farmers like Dr. Will Winter, Aaron Lusich, Mark McAfee, and the most truly humbling part was I got to introduce my hero and the keynote speaker, Joel Salatin. All great people and great speakers on the subject of food and farming. It was a wonderful experience that I am so thankful for and an opportunity for me to spread my message of something that I care so much about. And not only did I get to speak, but I also got to meet and really talk with these other inspirational advocates for a more sane food system. Corbin Billings with the documentary film Bite Size about childhood obesity interviewed me and Joel Salton too about what's going on with our food system. Meredith McKissick with the Organic Grower School invited me to come speak at the Ignite Agriculture event. I was even lucky enough to get a scholarship to the Organic Grower School spring event. I love any reason to visit Asheville. And, <laughs> and I was very excited to speak at Ignite. In April, I traveled to Rome, Italy, where I would be filmed on El Senso della Vita. When translated, means the meaning of life. I could not believe it. Rome, Italy, the home of the Slow Food Organization. <laughs> I can't pronounce in Italian what they call me, but when translated, it means the little organic farmer. <laughs> While in Rome, I also spoke at John Cabot University, which is an American university in Rome. I really enjoyed speaking to the college students, and I also did a question and answer session too. During my Italian adventure, I stayed and worked on an organic farm. I learned how to prune olive trees and even helped build a chicken tractor. <coughs> Next, I was asked to be filmed for another documentary film. My granddad and I met the film crew in Santa Barbara, California. I think it was pretty neat being filmed on the West Coast. After that, I was fortunate enough to speak at the TEDx Knoxville kickoff party an event to promote the first ever TEDx event in my hometown of Knoxville, Tennessee. I think it's such a great thing to see TEDx popping up in different cities like Knoxville. I've also sp spoken at local Sertoma and Kiwanis clubs in the Knoxville area. Over the summer, I've helped one of my granddad's neighbors, who, who has a small market garden. I helped him plant, harvest, and I even got up really early and went to one of the local markets. And after all that work, I still want to be a farmer. <laughs> In September, I spoke at the, TEDx Red, at the TEDx Redmond event, 
and with a bunch of other kids my age and older who have a passion for something that they really care about. And the main thing that I took away from that event is how you shouldn't wait to speak your mind. And one of the things I said in my TEDx talk is how I want to be an organic farmer when I grow up, but I'm learning that I can be one right now. I've learned that I'm making a difference just by spreading my ideas. And one of the things that I think made my TEDx talk go viral was because it was coming from a kid. Adults like John Robbins, who I met at the Bonfire Heights event that I spoke at in September, have been saying this stuff since the 60s and 70s. Even more was that I came onto this knowledge just by being curious and asking questions, questions my parents couldn't even answer. It was the power of my idea of what was being fed to us on TV in flashy packages and fancy boxes, and even plastic toys through the drive-thru wasn't the whole truth. It was me putting myself out there, nervous and excited to tell what I feel is the truth. I have to say, it made me mad when folks started commenting on YouTube about how someone told me to say these things about the food system, or even about how GMOs aren't bad for us. But I have to admit, although we don't agree, at least it has people thinking about the food system. For me, spreading my message for healthier eating and living is about taking care of the animals and the soil that we treat. And in turn, treating ourselves right. I can't tell, tell you because TEDx has been a huge platform for me. And it has helped me spread my message and my ideas to make a more sustainable food system. It has, my talk has inspired people to go to local farmers markets and even start their own gardens. And I can't tell you how thankful I am to have been given the opportunity and the platform to speak about something that I'm so passionate about, to make a difference with words and knowledge, to fight against things such as GMOs, the massive use of agrochemicals, and what I feel are greedy food monopolies. I want to encourage you to give it a try. Apply to a TEDx event, because until you do, you'll never really know what the power of an idea worth spreading is. Thank you. <laughs>